I said I know him. Jozo Sofko is his name. I know him, sir. He's a Franciscan. Pests and traitors. Vermin. What is the name of that godforsaken place down there? Uh, Major Gordier, comrade secretary. Yes. They've always been fanatics down there. Unpatriotic rats. I agree. Tito should have cleaned them out years ago. Yes, well, it's too late for that now. And what am I supposed to do? I can't very well go down there and arrest the mother of Christ. Now, can I? <laughs> no, that would not be so politically viable. Nor six children, for that matter. Even if they happen to be Croatian children. Nationalist, fascist, anti-government, anti-communist children. This is clearly an act of political subversion. Yeah. Who's behind it? This priest, this Franciscan? I don't think he has the balls. He's probably never been arrested. No, sir. Not yet. These six children, what about their parents, their loyalty to the party? I want to know all about them. And the, uh, the bishop of that diocese. I want to speak to him, too. That would be Shubich. Peter Shubich. Peter Shubich. Yeah. Gentlemen, please. Today is my birthday. No more business this morning. I'd like to enjoy the rest of the day. Please. Thank you. And remember, you are my eyes and ears. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. Oh. Should we arrest the children? Arrest them, arrest them for what? For seeing the mother of God? How would that look to the rest of the world? No, uh, if the local police want to arrest them, fine. Otherwise, interrogate them, have them undergo psychiatric evaluation. Hmm? I'm sure they'll be found incurably insane. Sure. There can be no other explanation. God does not exist. Or if he does, not in Yugoslavia. Well, if he does, I haven't seen him. Understand. I thought we said two o'clock. Forgive me. I've been unavoidably delayed, comrade deputy. Please, please. There's no need to stand on formalities here. You may call me Miodra. What may I call you? You may call me your excellency. In that case, you may call me Conrad deputy. Busy man like you, all the way from Beograd to Mostar. There's a priest named Zovko down in Medjugorje. He's swimming in deep water. You will need to throw him a life preserver and reel him in. What has he done? It's not what he's done, it's what he hasn't done. His so called visions. The Madonna that are attracting all these uh, worshippers. Surely you've heard of this. Well, I have heard something about it, yes. Well, he needs to rectify the situation, make a public statement denouncing the visions as false. <laughs> Which, of course, they are. Are they not? Whether they are false or not, it still sounds to me like a civil matter. Surely your people have already spoken to him. On a local level, he's been questioned. But he is proving to be an unreasonably stubborn man. Well, he's a Franciscan. 
They tend to be somewhat independent. I may not be able to reason with him. Influence him. And I can only pity him. You know, Peter, I'm not an evil man. Any more than you are a holy man. I think we both want to survive. Since Tito died, enemies of all kinds have been raising their ugly heads and thinking, now their time has come. Although we have told them, Tito will live forever. You already know of our enemies in Kosovo. There are others here of our own flesh and blood, the kind who peek out of their little mouse holes and have visions of the Virgin Mary. Well, even if God himself were to appear to them in person, they will still get what's coming to them. We'll chase them back into their little mouse holes. For 40 years now, we have been building our socialist system, whose glorious anniversary we now celebrate. We shall not permit those vermin to gnaw away at this government with their venomous little teeth. Get me that major again. <laughs> 